Have you ever wondered why some businesses seem to thrive on manipulation and deceit? This is where the concept of dark psychology comes into play. Dark psychology is the art of exploiting human psychology for nefarious purposes. It's about manipulating emotions, thoughts and actions to serve a hidden agenda. In the corporate world, these tactics are more common than you might think. Some businesses use dark psychology as a tool to keep employees in check, to control stakeholders, or even to deceive customers. It's a potent force that can lead to unethical business practices, fostering a culture of manipulation and deceit. These techniques can be subtle, hidden behind corporate jargon, leadership tactics, or even clever marketing strategies. And while it might seem that these businesses are thriving, the reality is that they're building their success on a foundation of manipulation and deceit. Dark psychology in business is a reality we must face and understand. One of the most common dark psychology techniques is manipulative corporate messaging. It's a strategy that companies use to subtly influence how employees perceive their roles and responsibilities. Imagine this, a company launches a new slogan, together, we're not just a team, we're a family. On the surface, this seems like a warm, inclusive message. It suggests that the company values each employee as a cherished member of a close-knit family. It's easy to buy into this sentiment, but let's look deeper. Underneath this seemingly benign message often lurks a more sinister objective. By painting the picture of a family, the company is creating an environment where employees might feel compelled to go above and beyond their job descriptions. After all, in a family we make sacrifices for each other, right? This could mean working longer hours without additional pay, or tolerating unfavourable conditions for the greater good of the company. Now, consider another common corporate message. Our employees are our greatest asset. It sounds like the company recognises and appreciates the hard work of its employees. But think about it. Assets are owned, used and leveraged for profit. Is this the kind of message that truly values employees as individuals? Or does it subtly suggest they are tools to be used for the company's gain? These examples demonstrate how manipulative corporate messaging can mask the company's true intentions, leading employees to prioritise the company's interests over their own well-being. It's a technique that can have profound impacts on employee morale, leading to burnout, stress and dissatisfaction. So how do you navigate this manipulative messaging? Stay alert. Pay attention to the underlying implications of corporate slogans and messages. Don't let the company's interests supersede your own. Remember, you are an employee, not a sacrificial lamb. Be critical of corporate messaging that prioritizes the company's interests over your own. Your well-being matters, and you should never feel compelled to compromise it for the sake of corporate success. Another dark psychology technique prevalent in the business world is the promotion of dark leadership traits. Picture this, you're at work, and it seems like your boss is always pushing you to the edge. You're constantly working late, your personal life is suffering, and you're feeling undervalued. You're not alone. This is an all-too-common scenario in many workplaces where leaders exhibit what psychologists refer to as dark traits. These dark traits include narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Narcissistic leaders, for instance, tend to be self-obsessed, showing little concern for the well-being of their employees. They crave admiration and often make decisions that serve their interests rather than those of the team or the organization. Machiavellian leaders, on the other hand, are manipulative and deceitful, willing to exploit others for personal gain. They use cunning tactics to maintain control and power, often at the expense of their employees' morale and productivity. Then, we have psychopathic leaders who lack empathy and remorse. These individuals are impulsive and reckless, making decisions without considering the potential harm to others. They can create a toxic work environment, leading to high stress and turnover rates. Let's take an example from the tech industry. A now defunct startup, once hailed as a game changer, was led by a charismatic but ultimately manipulative CEO. Employees were driven to the brink of exhaustion with promises of groundbreaking success. However, the leader's dark traits eventually led to the company's downfall. Such leadership styles can have detrimental effects on the workplace environment and employees' mental health. 
Studies have shown that employees who work under such leaders often experience increased stress, decreased job satisfaction, and are at a higher risk of burnout. So what can you do to protect yourself? First, be aware. Recognize these traits and understand their impacts. When choosing an employer, look beyond the attractive salary or the flashy office. Evaluate the leadership. Do they value their employees? Are they transparent and fair? Remember, you have rights as an employee. Don't be afraid to advocate for fair treatment and proper compensation. After all, a company's success is built on the backs of its employees. Evaluate leadership qualities carefully when choosing an employer and advocate for fair treatment within your workplace. A dark psychology in business is a bitter reality, but awareness and vigilance can protect us. In our exploration of dark psychology techniques in the corporate world, we've uncovered unsettling truths. Yet, it's precisely in acknowledging these truths that we find our power. The first step in protecting ourselves is understanding the game being played around us. And in this game, knowledge is not just power. It's a shield. Being aware of manipulative corporate messaging and dark leadership traits allows us to recognize when we're being subtly coerced into acting against our own interests. It's not about becoming suspicious of every corporate slogan or leadership style, but about maintaining a critical mindset. When faced with decisions in the workplace, we must remember to question what's being presented to us rather than accepting it at face value. But awareness is only half the battle. Vigilance is our ongoing defense. It's the practice of continually observing our environment and questioning the motives behind actions. It's about not letting our guard down, even when things seem to be going well. Because in the world of dark psychology, complacency can be a dangerous pitfall. Vigilance also involves safeguarding our interests. This means standing up for ourselves when necessary and not allowing the desire for harmony to silence our voices. It's about recognizing our value as individuals and asserting our rights within the workplace. So how do we cultivate this awareness and vigilance? By staying informed, by learning about psychology, manipulation techniques and corporate practices, by sharing our knowledge with others, creating a community of informed individuals, by not allowing ourselves to be isolated or silenced. And remember, we're not powerless. We can advocate for transparency and fairness within our workplaces. We can choose employers who respect our rights and foster healthy work environments. We can refuse to be manipulated into prioritizing the company's interests over our own. In the end, it's about creating a balance, a balance between being team players and preserving our own well-being. It's about understanding that it's possible to be both loyal and self-protective. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and never let dark psychology techniques manipulate your decisions and actions. The realm of dark psychology is shadowy, but not undefeatable. We've traversed through the murky territories of manipulative corporate messaging, where seemingly innocent slogans might be employed to sway employees into prioritizing the company's interests over their own. We've also explored the realm of dark leadership traits, where the corporate environment might inadvertently foster harmful personality traits in managers, leading to a potentially toxic work culture. The antidote to these manipulative techniques, awareness and vigilance. By being critical of corporate messaging that encourages self-sacrifice and by assessing the leadership qualities of potential employers, you can shield yourself from manipulation. It's about prioritizing your well-being, advocating for fair treatment and seeking transparency in company policies. Remember, the power to resist dark psychology lies in your hands. Stay informed, stay vigilant. It's your right, your responsibility and ultimately your protective armor in the business world.